Hey everyone, Joel Anse here, and today we are in Wisconsin. That's right, my first time actually being in Wisconsin, uh, just outside of Milwaukee. This is a suburb of Milwaukee called Franklin. So basically Milwaukee, but Franklin nonetheless. Today we're outside Mulligans, Mulligans on 27th, uh, here to do their big shepherd's pie challenge. This is a massive eight pound shepherd's pie challenge. So it's literally eight pounds of shepherd's pie. Then you have gravy. Then you have uh, four slices of their stout bread as well. So um, I'll give you the exact details, but I believe it's 45 minutes. If you win, you get the meal for free. You get a sweet t-shirt and I believe a gift card. I think it's about 75, maybe hundred dollars. I'm gonna give you the exact information here momentarily. But yeah, it looks really good, sounds good. Um, apparently only three people out of like over hundred plus attempts have been able to complete this. Um, Molly Skyler currently has the record. Um, she doused this thing. But that ultimately uh, we will head on in, see what we can do, we'll get you some more information and uh, should be a lot of fun. So let's go. Everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Looks really, really, really good. So, absolutely giant, giant, giant shepherd's pie. This is massive here, we'll get a thumbnail. We have giant, giant challenge. So we are gonna have 45 minutes to complete this. Uh, if we complete it, we do get the meal for free. We get a $100 gift card, which is sweet. We also get a sweet t-shirt. Um, so it's in this, and yes, arguably, I guess some people would call this cottage pie. I call it shepherd's pie. So we have ground beef. We then have, of course, potatoes. We have cheese. We have peas, carrots, um, carrots on top some scallions as well. It all looks very delicious. It is smothered in their Guinness gravy, which smells fantastic. And also we have their stout bread, some of this lovely looking stout bread. So yeah, 45 minutes, looks really good though. So ultimately let's dig on in, let's get going. And uh, I'm excited, this looks really good. First time having a shepherd's pie challenge, by the way. So let's have some fun. All right, so definitely a lot of food, but let's get started. The restaurant is ready. Yeah, cool. And we got a timer, George got our official timer today. Guys, you don't realize how big, thick and dense this is. Like, this is huge. So, anyway, wish us luck. George, ready? Go say the count of five, four, three, two, one. It's a thick one. Might be a little dense on the inside, actually. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little hot. Very tasty though. Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we're here at Mulligan's. This is right, Mulligan's just outside of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here doing their famous Shepherd's Pie Challenge. So shepherd's pie challenges are definitely not common, at least in North America. So when I finally had the opportunity to do one, I was definitely very excited. So this is a uh, like one of their two challenges. They have the shepherd's pie challenge, and then they also have a burger challenge here. The burger challenge, they say, sits somewhere between about six and eight pounds. I've heard kind of varying degrees. And then the shepherd's pie challenge is somewhere between eight and 10. Uh, where you have the multiple pounds of shepherd's pie plus all the gravy um, you have some cheese on there of course you have the vegetables um, and all that good stuff and then plus the stout bread um, which is kind of like a deep molasses kind of delicious brown sticky bread about a minute and a half in very delicious we are getting through it That gravy is delicious. I should have got some extra. This challenge itself is definitely quite large and paired with both the weight, the volume, and the time limit, I would say this is definitely an expert or diff very difficult challenge. Uh, again, there had only been three winners in over a hundred and I believe this would be 108 attempts. Um, so like I said, definitely not many uh, successful attempts. I mean, really you're talking a single digit success rate. Um, that being said, it is shepherd's pie and because you don't really have to chew it, it does go down quite quickly. Thank you, George. Woo! 
but of course the food is only going to go down quickly if you have the ability to eat quickly and or the capacity to fit it in your stomach. So again, uh, while you know some individuals can eat it quite quick, um, because again it's a food that does not require a lot of chewing, uh, it still has a lot, a lot of difficulty just with the sheer volume and then of course the time limit. When it comes to flavor, I was really enjoying it. I do like a shepherd's pie or identify, some people would uh, technically call this a cottage pie. However, where I grew up, their shepherd's pie was only ever made with ground beef. I'd never even heard of a shepherd's pie or cottage pie, any kind of that nature being made with lamb. Although I do identify, especially when you go over to Europe, uh, this would be considered a cottage pie, um, not a shepherd's pie. Hence kind of the name like shepherd, get it, lamb. Ha ha ha, you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, overall very delicious. They did have their Guinness Graveyond as well, um, which was very delicious. Um, and I really was enjoying all this. It's been a long time since I had Shepherd's Pie and it's a dish I like. How about just over four minutes in? Four minutes. It is very good. The big spoon definitely helps. The staff and everybody here was really, really nice as well. Um, you know, definitely a place where they're excited about food challenges. They welcome people to come try the challenges. Really helps make the experience, and that's exactly what was going on here. So I really, really, really appreciated that. Like I said, very delicious. That gravy is great. Shepherd's pie is fantastic. I can definitely understand why this is a popular item here. A very interesting fact about this challenge as well is so um, I believe it's for the Man vs. Food Season 3, they actually came and did a whole episode on this challenge and they end up using the challenge in the intro for the show. However, this challenge did not actually make it on air. So I guess the host just, I think, ultimately just got defeated so badly by this challenge that they decided not to actually um, will say uh, broadcast the episode. However, they did use um, this, uh, the imagery of this giant shepherd's pie in the actual intro of the show. So pretty interesting um, and kind of interesting. You know, let me know what you think about that down below. I definitely need to burp though. Oh, it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out fierce. So you can tell that. Oh, but anyway. But with that, everybody, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Hopefully you are enjoying the video so far. If you are, please hit that like button. Um, you know, consider subscribing. Really appreciate that as well. And ultimately, let's tune in, see what happens. And uh, that's about it. Have a lovely day, and let's get going. Nice tasting bread. You really taste that like molasses and stout kind in there.
We are done. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. There you go. I was expecting the bell ring, but huge thanks to everybody who came out to watch. Really appreciate the support. Nine minutes, 16 seconds, I believe, is the official time. So not too bad. That is definitely a lot of food. A lot, a lot of shepherd's pie. Or cottage pie, if you want to call it that. But I absolutely recommend stopping out by here. <sighs> There's that burp. Excuse me. <laughs> I told you that was going to come. Yeah, seriously, huge thanks to the staff for having me out. Really, really delicious food. I really enjoyed that. I can see like why, again, this is a common or very popular item here. Like gravy was fantastic. I've never had a gravy kind of like that before. The Guinness gravy is sweet. That bread was fantastic. But yeah, that's about it. Like, I feel just, I feel blessed. That was a really, really nice meal. Really, really nice place. Great staff. And uh, my first, my first Shepherd's Pie Challenge. Oh, and by the way, that was officially win, I think, 283. 283, 99.5% sure about that. So that, pretty cool. We will get a meal for free. Uh, we will get a sweet t-shirt and a gift card. So that's it. I have no complaints. So uh, that everybody, until next time, stay happy with the hungry, happy eating. And of course, maybe get yourself one serving of this. You don't need the big one. And have a lovely day. All right, everybody, and we're just rolling into Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Look at this place. You can, you know, kind of see something with the, uh, with the barrier. All right, Google, enough, enough. But like, this is this is cool. We got some clouds. What? Take exit seventy-two A. Okay. We got some uh, some city going here. Crazy bridges, looking real nice, real real nice. And here we are in Milwaukee. I'm assuming we're kind of downtown. This is Wisconsin Ave. Um, I think this is probably partially an older part of the city. Um, we have some very like big, beautiful, old looking buildings. Of course, we still have like some newer buildings, but just look at these. This is gorgeous. Milwaukee actually looks freaking awesome. I had no clue what to expect, but so far the architecture and this little area is really cute. Point. And we're going to see the uh, the Capitol building. I think it's this one right there, the big big tall thingy thing, uh, right downtown, which is pretty cool. And here it is, I believe, right here. I'm just gonna pull here for a minute. Well, look at this. Look at that beautiful building. That is uh, that is crazy. Let's, uh, and some interesting statues. So let's go out and say hello. And here it is. I think I said the Capitol building earlier. I meant City Hall. So this is the, uh, this is the Milwaukee City Hall. Definitely huge. They uh, appear to be doing some kind of construction. So kind of maybe walk around it real quick, but pretty cool. Definitely a big, big, big old building. And here is the Milwaukee City Hall. Absolutely a giant, 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 giant building. And a very interesting statue out front. I have no clue what this is supposed to be, but I'm sure somebody does, so comment down below. Let me know about Milwaukee, this little statue. But yeah, beautiful building, interesting architecture. Definitely old. I don't know when it was created, but very old. And there appears to be a little thingy thing in here. I don't know if this is just a non-functioning fountain. Or, no, okay, looks like maybe 1846. Jeez, man. Incorporated January 31st, 1846. That is so old. Well, there you go, guys. The city of Milwaukee. It looks like that's when it was born. So, that's impressive. This is very impressive. Here we have an absolutely giant, giant, giant um, mural thing for Schlitz Park. Schlitz, I don't know how to pronounce it. We'll say Schlitz Park, uh, which is pretty cool. We're also down here by what I think they call like the River Walker River Center. So that's pretty cool. Welcome to Milwaukee. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate the, uh, the warm welcome. There's another interesting looking building. Don't know what it is, but something. And another interesting looking building. And another interesting looking building. <laughs> This says, uh, sh oh, Schlitz, Schlitz Park. 
I guess that's where we're at. We're in Schlitz Park area. And this sign also says Schlitz Park. Not sure, again, if there's any meaning, historical, whatever. But if anybody knows anything about Schlitz Park, let me know. Because I don't know. But we will continue this downtown Milwaukee tour. Momentarily. And here we have a Moobies, which is from, uh, what'd you say, it's Kevin Smith's Kevin restaurant? Kevin Smith, uh, Clerks, Jade, Silent Bob. Yeah, Silent Bob, right? Yeah, Jade, Silent Bob. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, and we're right here by the water. So I think George is, uh, that sounds like George is gonna wanna go check out Moobies. So yeah. let's see what this parking is all about. And uh, look at this, we got some, I don't even know what that is exactly. A man? Or, oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. It's a guy, there you go, he's like sunbathing, laying on the ball. This side makes a little more sense. And here's the river, I'm gonna show you that here. And we're down here by this waterway. It's just like, I gotta say, Milwaukee's actually really pretty. I gotta give it to it, with what, at least what we've seen so far, it's been very pretty. The water, admittingly, is not overly blue. I'm not saying I'd want to swim in it, but it is very uh, pretty. Oh, Lakefront Brewery. I feel like maybe that was a, maybe that was a thing. But uh, getting a phone call, so let's answer that and go from there. Hello. So we're a little bit more like down by the water. That's like the water just over there. Here we have some uh, Coude Coude Tower. Don't know what that is. Uh, again, more buildings I don't know. But I will say there's definitely, um, there's little like statues and monuments over there. Um, we have uh, lots of old buildings in and around this area. That's a very modern building looking there. Not sure what that is, obviously some kind of like a statue thing. Again, a lot more old buildings, a very modern building. Um, yeah, definitely no shortage of stuff. This is pretty cool actually, like really cool. Maybe I'll we'll try to park. I'll try to park and get out and see this big, these, this looks like a little good tourist area. So let's have a peek. And right by downtown by the water, we have this like green space, which looks really, really, really nice. Obviously very well groomed, flowers, very aromatic. We have what they call the Miller Brewing Pav uh, Company Pavilion over here, which yes, we were trying to like remember what brewing company it is. I think it's in Miller that Milwaukee's known for. Cause there's like beer and cheese is kind of what, uh, kind of what uh, Milwaukee at least is known for. Um, Northwestern Mutual, maybe that's a square or at least the, the building company. Um, here we have Museum Center Park. So we're gonna walk towards Museum Center Park. Here we have part of the Milwaukee Art Museum. I don't know if you can read that, but it's called Mark DeServo. He's the artist and it's called The Calling. It's painted steel. It is absolutely painted steel. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. And over here we have, I don't know if that's the museum or what that is, but that is a, uh, that's quite the something. A little house and, I don't know, waterfront area, I guess. Very fresh down here. Seems very nice by the water. So here we have the Ryman, Reman, Reman, Ryman. Fountain Bridge, connecting life and art. And then over there is the uh, art museum with, I believe, I've definitely seen that like image, this top thing before. So that's pretty cool. The, the building itself almost reminds me of like a boat, a you know, boat shape, but it's pretty cool. Um, some really nice fountains down here all along. Over there is Discovery World, that big building, Discovery World. Oh well, yeah, this is cool. It's a really nice area. And then again, by the water, they have a whole like river walk. I think that's in town a little more, but like lakefront uh, path as well. Kind of similar to uh, what Chicago had. So beautiful. And then right downtown, one of the things that I did Google, I did some Googling. I didn't think actually this was still up or like around or existing, but there's this like, this is a piece of art down here. I don't know what it's by. Again, a huge building. I feel like somewhere got to be the Capitol building. Um, but this is called like the Slime Monster or something. It's made by some artists, inspired by some movie in like the 60s. And it's awesome. I mean, just look at it. This is like 
I don't know if I'd say I'm a big art person, but I can really appreciate this. I think it's awesome. Just so colorful and unique. And it's like right downtown Milwaukee, which is freaking hilarious. So don't miss the slime or goo monster, whatever it's called. And this is the Centennial Capsule. No. And this is the uh, US Federal Courthouse, which apparently also has a Centennial Capsule uh, stored in the granite stone, which is pretty interesting. But big, 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 big monstrous building. Again, Milwaukee got some serious buildings down here. Really cool architecture.